Next question is from Lily. Hey, Lily, how are you? Lily's in Western Australia and she's asking, how do you start designing your property from scratch? Ah, is that all? <laughs> Great question. Um, Lily says, we are starting from vacant land, building a passive house. Excellent. And finding it hard to know where to start. How to go from nothing to the basic foundations of gardens and putting permaculture principles into action. Yeah, good question. All right. Um, well, the very first thing is, I'm sure you're already on to, Lily, is sort out your personal goals for your property and for your house, what you hope to achieve from that place, um, what your capacity is. All these things will very, very, very much influence the types of gardens you set up, exactly where you start, why you start. Yeah, that's the place to start. Um, if you're looking to do a bit of a backyard permaculture design of the place where you are, there's some really, really good books that I would highly recommend. Um, the first one is this little one. It's called Permaculture Design, a step-by-step -step guide by Aranya. Uh, he's English, or it's published in England. Um, when we were doing PDCs, which we did permaculture design certificates, I should say, which takes you through the entire process that you're about to do. We're not doing those courses anymore, but plenty of awesome people in Australia are. And if you're in WA, I'm not sure where you are in WA, but you have quite a few excellent, excellent permaculture crews running PDCs in Western Australia. Um, please get in touch and we can find you someone um, for your region if you're interested in that. Anyway, when we did PDCs, this was one of the texts that we gave every single student. It is a small book. And this one <laughs> has been very wet recently at some point, so I can barely open the pages for you. But trust me, it looks pretty basic, but it is one of the best permaculture design books we have ever encountered, which is why we used to choose it for all our students at all our courses, at all our permaculture design courses. Um, that'll lead you through the entire process from assessing your site, figuring out where the sun falls, figuring out an energy audit of both you and your resource base, figuring out what you want to grow, why you want to grow it, how plausible is that, starting from your back step and working out from there. The other book, which will probably be in your local library, at least I hope it will be, will be Rosemary Morrow's Earth User's Guide to Permaculture. This is a solid beginner read for anyone who's like, where do I start on my property? It is excellent. It gets you in the right frame of mind and it does a similar job to this design book, but this is a better process-based book and it's not very much. You can buy it at a few places in Australia. Um, we'll put links there for you. Um, yep. It's time to get reading. But in the meantime, until the books come or until the plans are made or until even the personal goals are really set on a property level, start at your back door and work out from there. You can have a few herbs and a bunch of salad greens in whatever that looks like for you. It could be a broccoli box, could be a bucket, could be anything. Those sorts of very, very small things as... I know we say it a lot, but God, it's just so powerful, are an excellent beginning. And that makes you sit on your back step, survey your, your new place and really start thinking about what you want and what you don't want and what you have to give it and how to best steward the patch of land that you have. Um, yeah, very small, slow solutions at that level, but very, very powerful for getting you thinking and getting you out there and getting you into it as well as good design techniques. Let us know how you go.